I have this data here and I want to remove duplicates from this data. Obviously, there are no duplicates here as far as I know. And uh, I have to make some duplicates for all of you to just uh, see how it happens. I will just see, click copy and paste. Now I have a duplicate data. All these last four rows are uh, duplicates. Uh, I want to remove these uh, duplicates. What will I do? Uh, I'll just select this uh, and then I can uh, go to data and from this data I can go to more filters and advanced filters. What happens with this advanced filter now? Uh, obviously I had selected it again but with this uh, it's called shrink or something. I will just click it again and select to hold the data again. So once I do that, it asks me to do something. Here, I want it to say no duplicates. So I want no duplicates in this data. Once I do that, I'll just click okay i can see what happened the data the last four points those are removed automatically through this command but a slight issue is still there it is a filter command and filter what you can always see is this is 31 if you see all these grids this is 20 21 and 26 so all those data are basically not deleted they are hidden i can come back and show those rules again so what would be the best way to do that let's talk about that go back to the data and in this data more filters advanced filters options and go and select it again i did it earlier but i'll just do it again click here now i want to copy these results click here and copy these to let's say this much how many columns are there is it's one two three four five six seven eight so it's eight columns i have to select eight columns and the number of rows don't actually matter that but what i will do it just like it was done previously so i've given it a range where you can paste the data that has no duplicates and i can press ok now you can compare this data so these four lines are now removed from this data you can just come back here and either use that part of your creation or you can manually delete it here it's all up to you but i've got a data that has no duplicates now and you can work around doing several things like conditional formatting and others with it you can discuss it separately that's it guys and thank you